So, Elden Ring. Today we are going to learn how to install FSR 3 frame generation into Elden Ring. Shadow of the uh, update 1.13.7. Before we begin, like and subscribe. So there are two methods, one with frame generation and other one is without. Frame generation mode will give some problems slash complication for users. So they can try the second method. Keep that in mind, there are no frame generation in the second method. Alright, application location. and run the toggle anti-cheat application. Steam will open and something will happen. I don't know what because I'm, I'm a free user. Anyhow, do disable anti-cheat. After that, go to your frame gen folder. Try to use the upscaler one first. If that doesn't work, go for the second one. So, copy everything in the upscaler one folder to your Elden Ring application location. You must open the game as an administrator, otherwise you will see errors and game won't even launch. When you're in the game, Reshade will need you to update its version. Do not update. If you do accidentally update, remove everything you copied and do the steps again. You can see your FPS is unlocked already. That's a good sign. When the game is open, set the screen mode to full screen. And in advanced settings, make sure to turn on anti-aliasing and motion blur. You can play the game like this, it's pretty smooth. Some flickering here and there, but it's more than playable. To bring up the UI, Press the home button. Play around with these settings. I recommend the stock settings though. Come on, man, I'm recording a video, you f. Wow. So, this is frame generation without upscaling. Sometimes, when you enable upscaling, it makes the game unplayable. You will see high FPS, but its smoothness is horrible. When something like that happens, you either can disable the upscaling and only use the frame generation or just change the upscaling quality to something and give it back. Like a restart. And I didn't see any difference between upscaling on versus off. So use it if you really need it. And don't check DLSS upscaling if you don't have an RTX card your game will crash. So that's it for the first method. Uh, the upscaler 1 folder isn't working for you, uh, try the folder 2, do the same steps. On to the second method. This will only apply upscaling for the game, no frame generation. Before do anything, remove any leftover upscaling or frame gen files from the games folder. Open the downloaded upscale only folder and put the files in ERSS2 zip into your game location. and simply open the game. 
no need to run as an administrator here when you are in the game go to settings and set the screen mode to borderless window if you are not a RTX card owner you will see this black screen when you first launch the game don't panic just press home button and change the upscaling method to FSR3 Uh, now it feels different for me, I don't know why the game don't use my system resources. In this mod, there is no FPS cam remove option, so you need to use something else for that. Go back to your upscale only folder and run this application as administrator. If you disable anti cheat before, select no here. If it says game patched, you can begin to select things and enable things. If it says waiting for something, make sure to select what you want and press the patch game button. You can see if the application is working by changing the FOV. So this is it for Elden Ring. And make sure to like and subscribe because 92% of you just watch and leave. Help me to get back up again. I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Adios amigos.